Hi, I'm Dr Matt Hearn. I'm a vertebrate paleontologist working up here at the Australian Age of Dinosaurs Museum. I've been working for the last uh, couple of months on the reconstruction and mounting of this wonderful Platyterygius and Ichthyosaurus skeleton from uh, found in Western Queensland. So this is the post-cranial skeleton of Platyterygius and you can see that it continues on from the skull and there's about four and a half meters of skeleton. So what I've done is I've reconstructed the skeleton. You can see the vertebral column, the backbone. And what I've done is I've, I've got all the vertebrae and I've positioned them and reconstructed where they actually lie relative to each other. And then what I've done is built a foam cradle to support the bones in their exact preserved position. And that cradle has also been coated in a fiberglass resin uh, to really make the whole cradle supporting the, the bones, which are quite heavy, um, well supported. And you can actually see all the bones and the ribs all lined up and they're all in their exact preserved location. There are some parts of the skeleton that were actually missing. Um, when it was collected in the field, there were some parts that were missing. So what I've done is sculpted the missing parts of the skeleton to fill in the blanks, some of the spots between parts that are preserved and parts that aren't preserved. And so what we uh, have now is a fully reconstructed skeleton um, as it would have been originally. So this is the skull of an ichthyosaur called Platyterygius that was um, found uh, in the region of Bulia. Um, the skull, uh, when it was buried, was flattened and compressed. And so that has meant that the, the bones around the region of the eye here and the brain case were flattened out. And this is the reconstruction after uh, restoration and preparation of the, the muzzle, the beak, and the region of the eye. And what I have done is filled in the missing parts of the skull that have been broken and damaged or lost um, with a, a sculpting process. Um, in that process, I've used the polyurethane foam coated with fiberglass and uh, various modelling techniques to reconstruct the parts of the skull that are missing. And as you can see, this is the result.